Hello everyone and welcome to PeopleSwap channel. So do you know what is a log message action in application engine program and how to use it? Well, no need to worry because in this episode, we will discuss in detail about log message action. We will understand how to use it and then we will also discuss one use case for which we will create an application engine program including log message action. So that's the agenda for today and without further delay, let's get started. Let's say that a user submits a request for the application engine program and the program is currently executing. Now all the processing happens behind the scene. That means user does not have any visibility inside what is happening inside the application engine program. Now, once the program completes, a user can see whether the application engine program has successful or it has failed. Now, let's say that we have a requirement that the program should convey some information to the user about the execution. So, if we have such requirement where the program wants to convey some information to the user, we can do that with the help of log messages. So each application engine program has a section called log messages inside which a user can see custom messages which are written by the application engine program. For example, let us run this application engine for PO calculations for business unit US001. So this is the application engine program and let's wait for the program to complete. The program is successful. Now let's go to details and let's go to message log. Now if we see this application engine program is clearly telling us how many rows were selected for processing, how many rows were completed successfully and how many rows went into error. So if you see these are custom messages which were written by the application engine program and which are visible for us. So log message action in the application engine program can be used to generate these kind of messages so that user come to know that in the latest run of this application engine program there was no transaction process. And now it's time for a use case to design an application engine program involving log message. For our use case we have this employee hire table which contains the list of employees which are going to be hired by the organization. So today is 23rd of March. These employees have higher date. So if you see some of the employees have higher date as today's date, that means these employees should be hired today. Whereas some employees have a future higher date. Now higher status S means these are staged for hiring and once the hiring is completed, their higher status should be updated from S to C. Now what is the use case? We have a use case to design an application engine program to complete their hiring process. And we will only hire those employees whose hire date is equal to current date. So today is 23rd of March. That means these three employees should be hired today. So as part of application engine program, we need to display some log messages to the user who is running the application engine. First would be how many total employees are there for hiring. If you see, we have five total employees are present with higher status as S. That means first message should display that there are five employees which are pending for hiring. And the next message would be how many employees have been hired today. So out of five, three employees have higher date as current date. That means the second message should display that there are three employees which have been hired today. So this is the application engine requirement. And for hiring the employee, we will update their hire status from S to C. That means we will write a simple statement to update the hire status from S to C for those employees who have today's hire date. So let's design such application engine program. So this is our brand new application engine program. 
let's add our first action and this will be a do select action now we need to display first that how many employees are pending for hiring in this case there are five employees which are pending for hiring and we can obtain this information by running a select statement with count star so let's write our select statement so using the sql we are getting the count of employees whose hire status is s and we are storing that count into employee count variable which is from the state record so let's save this and now let's add log message action to display this count so let's add a new action and this will be log message now if you see we cannot double click and enter into log message to configure our message on the other side for log message action we get three useful parameters the first one is message set number the second one is message number and the third one is parameters hence for log message action we need to log into peoplesoft applications create our own message sets and then provide those message set and message number here so that the log message action will automatically get the message text from the message catalogs so let's create a message in the peoplesoft application for our requirement so using the navigator let's go to people tools utilities administration and message catalog let's add a new value let's provide message catalog number as 21001 click on add now one message catalog can have multiple messages here so let's add our first message as part of message catalog it will be total number of employees pending for hiring equal to now here we will provide percent one because we will get the employee count dynamically from the do select action hence using percent operator in the message set number we can get dynamic parameters from the other actions of application engine program so let's save this now let's go to application designer let's provide the message set number so our message set number is 21001 and our message number is 1 So let's provide message set number as 21001. Our message set number is one, and now let's talk about parameters. So parameters means if we want to dynamically provide any parameters which should be appear in our log message, we can provide those dynamic parameters here. For example, we need to provide this employee count as a parameter to our message log. So let's take this employee count, and since this employee count is present in the state record, we can use percent bind operator to get the state record values, and this is how we can pass the employee count to the particular message. So let's click on save. This will be our first step. Now let's add another step. this will be step 2 let's select the action as do select now we will count the number of employees which are eligible to hire today so let's reuse the same select statement from step 1 and now inside step 2 we will add one more criteria and hire date equal to percent current date in that means find those employees whose hire status is s and whose hire date is today so let's save this now let's add a sql action to update their hire status so insert action this will be sql and this will be our sql to complete their hiring process whose hire date is current date so let's save it and now it's time for another log message action 
because we need to display the number of employees which have been hired today. So let's go with the log message action and now similar to how we created a message set and message number. Let's create another message in the same message set number for our second log message action. So inside this same message set number, click on add. This will be our message number two. Now let's provide our message text. Number of employees hired today equal to percent one because similar to message one, this will be our dynamic part in the entire message. So let's click on save and let's provide this message seat and message number two log message action. So our message seat number will be 21001. Our message name will be two and we will use the same bind parameter as we used previously. So let's click on save. So now let's test our application engine program. So this is our application engine program. Let's click on OK. And let's wait for our program to complete. Program is successful. Now let's go to details. Let's click on message log. And as expected, we can see the required messages in which it says total number of employees pending for hiring equal to five. This is coming from the first log message action and number of employees hired today equal to three. This is coming from the second log message action. Similarly, if we check this SQL statement, let's run this select statement now. As we can see, three employees having hired it as today has been successfully hired in the organization. So this is how we can use a log message action in our application engine program. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you found this content helpful in understanding the log message action, then please hit that like button because it really motivates us to create such content. And if you are interested in the more such people's content, then please subscribe to people's channel. Thank you.